so hello to anyone who might be interested in my photovoltaic system first of all I would like to say that I'm no electrician -er. I've never done anything like this before and actually I had to learn some basic stuff about electricity before to, before I started this so if you decide to do something similar please contact a professional electrician and double check if what I'm going to show you is done correctly so actually this is I never followed any codes and any laws or anything like this so this is just what I came up that design I made so please double check if uh, you want to do something similar so now that I got this out of the way I want to show you around my farm here first of all I'm in the middle of nowhere the closest electricity is like one kilometer away and the utility company was asking for more money to connect me than I built my my photovoltaic system so this is my pond if you want to check I have some videos about how I did this pond and here on the pond dam I placed my solar panels I made this uh, concrete foundation that is used that I'm using for placing the solar and also it stabilizes the dam so it doesn't go anywhere here you can see I have uh, 72 panels and they are grouped in 12 pieces at the time so I have six groups times 12 and how I connected them is uh, I started from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 12 and from this panel I take the plus and from this I take the minus they go here in this box and from the box they're connected to this uh, other cable which goes to that's the small building I, I use for my batteries and the inverters uh, these are my blueberries and the electricity is mostly used for irrigating the blueberries but now when it's winter time I use it for whatever I want and here is the base of the dam maybe six seven meters below it was the perfect angle something like 30 degrees and I considered some other construction constructions about these panels but that was very cheap I spent no more than I don't know 2,000 euros for all this concrete and everything so here is the small building I made for the solar inverters this is uh, this is a AC coupled system so what basically what happens is the electricity comes from the solar panels goes uh, here in this fast acting fuses and then travels to my sunny boy inverters 
So here the electricity comes like 400 volts DC electricity enters the Sunny Boys and right there in the Sunny Boy the electricity is made is transferred to 240 volt volts AC electricity which can be used right away here in my protection box uh, from the sunny boy inverters the electricity 240 volts comes to my protection box and can be used for anything from now on uh, so from here this is my sunny island inverter which charges my batteries and also when there is no sun takes electricity from the batteries and put it back here in the protection box so what happens electricity comes from solar panels goes to the sunny boy inverters and back to the protection box from protection box goes to sunny island from sun, the sunny island then uh, take this electricity and here we have fuse and charges my batteries when there is sun when there is no sun take electricity from the batteries and make it makes it 20 240 volts put it back in the protection box where I can use it for whatever I want so this is AC coupled system no very simple system in my opinion I checked many solar installation on YouTube most of them used uh, some DC coupled systems but uh, they are very complicated in my opinion yeah here maybe you lose a little bit of electricity because you transfer once uh, you transfer the electricity to 220 240 volts and then put it back to 55 55 volts for the charging of the batteries but the complications you get with the dc coupled systems are uh, many so uh, I use uh, REC BMS I use uh, REC BMS I have uh, also this knee active balancer the batteries we have 16S configuration and I have eight of these that are connected in parallel so basically it's it is 16 s 8p configuration mm. here the 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 BMS leads are all combined here in this uh, terminal and I use this terminal also to take uh, to connect the balancing leads uh, for the active balancer mm. I think I'm going to make some more videos about this this is just an overview of my system mm. And I'm going to make some more videos about each of the components, the batteries, the solar panels, the inverters, how I connected everything. Here I also have a heater because this winter temperatures were kind of low. So at one point the temperature dropped like down to three degrees Celsius here so I installed this heater 
it's an automatic heater if the temperature drops below five degrees it started to heat the room also this is the this is how I control my BMS and the active balancer this is the active balancer the screen and right now it says there are just like two millivolts difference in the batteries mm. this is the screen for the rec bms right now we are at 99 percent 98 percent so yeah overall here is uh, let me show you a little bit more so we have this uh, box here fuse box 250 volts uh, amps for each uh, of the sunny island inverters going here with these two cables going to this uh, contactor Um, from the contactor, it uses this uh, bus bar and uh, eight cables come, come out of this bus bar for each of the, the battery which are in series. So this is the plus and the minus comes from the, from the sunny island, goes to the shunt and then I have another bus bar for the O8 minuses here. We have a precharge unit. I had uh, I had problems with this unit. It doesn't uh, t uh, precharge for long enough time, so I burned one contactor because of it, and then. Mm, I started also using this uh, resistor here to precharge, just to make sure that everything is precharged manually. Actually, I had problems with the REC BMS also. Uh, I had one defective unit that I returned to the company, and now uh, I have another one that uh, so far knock on wood is working okay it's good so that's it i'm going to end this overview of my solar installation and maybe i'm going to do some more videos about it later i'm sorry i'm really sorry about the quality of this video uh, but this is a non-profit channel, I just want to share my knowledge and the uh, design I came up with. Oh, I forgot to tell you that uh, I decided to, to build this uh, battery bank and to put the cells in an angle just for easy of uh, constructing, for servicing and everything it's i think it came up very nicely i also plan to to cover everything here in some later stage and yes i'm going to end this now sorry for my english too um english is not my native language so that's all.